Hi, I'm Lee Abrams, and we've been working on a new concept in news, a total reinvention of the way video news comes across. It's called News Movies, and it's really a, uh, not a newscast, but a movie of the world at the moment. And uh, if you think back to, say, 1970, uh, we were going through kind of a revolution. I mean, there were all these new ideas, new things happening, moon landings, Vietnam, just a time of great change. And there was AM radio, and AM radio really didn't match the new mood of the country. and didn't connect with the new mainstream that was emerging. So along came FM, and the rest is history. FM did match the, uh, the needs of the people, and did very well, obviously. Now, 50 or so years later, we're also having a time of great change, revolution, so to speak, just uh, craziness all the way around. And there's TV news, which is the modern day equivalent of what radio, AM radio was doing back in, the, uh, back in the late 60s, early 70s. It's just out of sync with what's going on. TV news today is really based on some 70s, 80s focus group hell. It hasn't changed in years. Meanwhile, the world has changed a lot. So what news movie is, is a way to connect with 2020, 2021 and beyond by presenting a dramatic reimagination. I mean, we're getting rid of everything, all the cliches, all the breaking news, all of the uh, chit-chatting anchors with fake city skylines. And, uh, you know, a lot of TV news tries to, uh, to reinvent themselves, but they don't do it in a noticeable way. You know, all of a sudden the weatherman will stand up or the new furniture or a new city skyline backdrop, but nothing noticeable. And uh, it's fading in its relevancy. Now with news movie, there's three main components. We call it eye, ear, brain. Eye is where it's visually stunning. It's a movie of the world at the moment, which looks just beautiful on bigger screens and on small devices. It's not cluttered screen, it's just the, the pictures, the images, the videos just breathe. And it's a wonderful video, a visual experience. Then there is sound, ear. Every story will have a soundtrack to it. Instead of you know, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, uh, news music, it'll have uh, real music that really elevates the story. For example, if it's a story about uh, oh tornadoes in Oklahoma, we might have sort of country music, Willie Nelson kind of music. If it's a story about inner city strife, maybe it's Coltrane kind of music. And uh, the idea is to use music, again, to elevate the storytelling. Then there's brain, eye, ear, brain. And brain is where it's smart. If you can imagine a um, intellectual scale based on television programming, where one, you have the reality shows, the honey boo-boos and all those kind of things. And then 10, you know, public television, masterpiece theater and all that. Most TV really resides in the one to four range. And it's very successful, massively successful. A great place to be for a lot of people. But we know, and uh, our data has proven that there's a huge hole, seven to eight on that one to 10 scale, where it's not elite, but it's just not dumb. And it won't appeal to everybody, but there's a large enough audience in that seven to eight intellectual range that it should really click. Um, as far as the production is concerned, again, it's not a traditional newscast. We have very efficient ways to produce this. Again, it's produced like a movie with a lot of people in front of their, their arrays of computers, assembling stories, assembling sound, assembling narration to make, once again, you know, news movies, movies of the world at the moment. And it's just far more efficient and works real fast. And it too is a reinvention of itself, the whole production style. Um, the whole thing is very credible because it's unbiased, but it's not vanilla. It's not avoiding the, the tough topics or going down the middle and just, uh, you know, creating a vanilla environment. We will take on the right and the left with great aggression. So you'll hear the right, you'll hear the left, uh, but you'll hear both. And, you know, we joke that if it's about gun control, we might have Ted Nugent talking next to uh, Barbara Streisand. So you get both sides of the story, but it's, it's, there's a, a true balance. It's not just all the, 
in the case of gun control, the Ted Nugent side or the, or the Barbara Streisand side. And the thing is um, really peppered with what we call franchises. For those of you who've been listening to radio, you remember Two for Tuesdays and block parties and all those things. And at the time, way back, they were very successful in creating uh, franchises for, for radio stations. Now we've created a whole generation of television news franchises, and there's a lot of them. Uh, one I, I kind of like is um, Deja News. This is where we'll take a story, take um, uh, Syria, and we'll show a newsreel, a black and white newsreel from maybe 1949 about the Syrian rebels and getting into problems with their government and all the strife in Syria. Then we'll take the story from recently about the same thing. And you put them back to back, and it's it's fascinating. And uh, I mean, there's so many options for that. Uh, obviously, the, um, the protesters now, compared to the protesters in uh, in the middle and late '60s, you can do that contrast. So, deja news. And we'll also have kind of a um, I won't say it's not a comedy show. But we'll have a humorous side to it. For example, we'll show the 10 o'clock news translated from North Korea, which is so culturally bizarre, it borders on, on humor. Um, so it's a, it's a great mix of, uh, of the, the hard news and these franchises that give it a lot of life. As far as uh, the people, we've identified and recruited really an A-list of, uh, of senior managers who will uh, populate the place and make it happen. They come from diverse areas, from CBS to the New York Yankees. And uh, with these people, we will create a staff of people that have what we call it. They just get it. Most people don't. Most people are very satisfied or comfortable. We're finding uncomfortable people, people who want to do this for the right reasons, really to move the medium forward. And uh, an example is there are a lot of um, television people who uh, got into it because they wanted to be creative, which is great, but now find themselves doing the Jerry Springer uh, promos. And uh, it's just not inspiring them. We will give these people an opportunity to do television, to do video for the reason they got into it in the first place. And um, these people will go through what we call boot camps, which are well, several months long, and it's to re-educate them into the news movie way of thinking. And re-education sounds you know, very scary. It's not, it's liberating. It uh, just enables them to do the best work of their life, but within the focus of what we're trying to do. So you get the best of both worlds, real inspired people that are focused in this new news movie direction. So uh, all in all, something we're very excited about. We've done demos on it, uh, done quite a bit of uh, research on it. And uh, I know it's gonna be a huge hit and it's gonna reinvent the medium of video news. So stay tuned.